Good morning, everyone. This coffee is not for me. It's for our lovely gardener, Becca. I'm taking her her coffee. She's just brought me in some flowers that she's cut from the flower bed because one of our flower beds is heavily overgrowing and we've got some new plants going in today. So um, she gave everything a little bit of a trim. So the, gar the, the kitchen is actually looking a little bit like um, a florist and a green grocers maybe because I've got the rhubarb that Ali's Gramps gave me yesterday when we went to go and visit them. Today is a glorious day. I'm just going to take Becca her coffee and then I'm going to be back to chat to you. So, as I mentioned, it is a glorious day today and I actually wasn't expecting it to be so beautiful today. I thought it was going to be a little bit cloudy because we didn't have the best uh, Saturday and Sunday, but the doors are open. I'm sure Mr. Millen Gordon is just about to get our cushions out for us. <laughs> And we are planning on sitting in the garden for a little while. However, I have a few errands to, to run. First of all, lunch. So I'm soaking my lettuce leaves in some water. I wash every leaf individually because you just never know what's in them. So I give them a little soak first and then go through and rinse each one individually. I have also ordered um, some orange blossom water this morning and I basically, it's really funny, I was Googling recipes to make with my rhubarb and I came across a rhubarb and orange, orange blossom, no, yes, a rhubarb and orange blossom cake. And I thought, you know what, that'd be lovely, but I want to make a round cake. So I Googled orange blossom cakes, found a very, very simple recipe. So I've ordered the um, water and hopefully I'm gonna have a chance to make it. I need to get a few other ingredients first. Obviously I know I had a bit of a travesty with my lemon drizzle cake, um, especially after I got so quietly confident with it, but um, I'm gonna try a round cake now. I'm gonna upgrade from my loaf cakes and do something a bit more beautiful. And I am obsessed with orange blossom. The reed diffuser in our kitchen is orange blossom and we also have the trees downstairs, which smell incredible in springtime. And so um, hopefully I'll be able to document that in this video because I'm rather ahead on videos at the moment, which makes me feel very, very comfortable. It's not usually like that. And usually I have like a, if I get too far ahead with my videos, I start panicking that they're not any good. And so when I'm in a position where I have to upload it, I do, but it's really funny. I become my, my worst critic if I have the chance to um and ah about a video. So I'm not gonna do that in this video, but we are very much enjoying this sunshine. It's gonna be apparently short-lived though. Um, apparently this weekend it's not gonna be great, which is a bit annoying because we have quite a lot going on this weekend. I've just been invited to the Blenheim, pa the Blenheim Palace flower show, which I really want to go to. And we've also got the Red Hot Chili Peppers gig on Saturday. And then we have a family birthday party on the Sunday for my grandma. So it is supposed to be busy, but the weather is not looking like it's playing ball. So. But we do have a few days in um, sunshine. So I'm actually, what I've done is I've got all of my work done for the most part um, as early on as possible so that I can just film and just create as I go. I also, to update you, started this book last night. I'm about three or four chapters in, I'm hooked. I love her writing. I think that the thing with um, my last book, The French Gardener, is that maybe the writing didn't hook me the writing of, of um, Liz Fennec has, has hooked me, so I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on, make some lunch, and get out into the sunshine. This really has become part of my daily ritual. I'd often miss lunch um, because I was so busy, but now this whole process and this whole routine of making lunch and eating it whilst I get to enjoy this view is honestly, it just, I look forward to it. My little shadows are coming with me down to the kitchen garden. Becca, our gardener, has just left and she's had um, some jobs to do around here, just general like replanting of 
um, our little topiary balls because we got a whole load of Buxus, the um, Buxus, is it box blight? So we've replaced them with something different just to add a bit of structure. However, this is the one bed that we're not happy with how it's looking. Everything's just gone a bit wild um, and unstructured, but it, I'm sure it will sort itself out eventually. What else have we had done? So down here, we've had a few more plants put in here. So a lot of the plants that were um, drowned in our by our irrigation, we've had to replace them. So they've all gone in, thankfully, and the, there's like a new irrigation system here. So hopefully soon it'll look as lovely as this bed because I need to get rid of those random alliums as well. <laughs> They're not doing too well. But um, I now finally, I think I've got everything that I need in order to get um, my pumpkins planted out here. I'm gonna water my greenhouse. I know you watch me water my greenhouse a lot, um, but it is the general upkeep that I have to do now. I also am going to plant my corn into this bed. Well, either into this bed or into another bed somewhere, maybe like down the side here. So, because I want to put it in the beds because last year the dogs sat on my corn. Um, so if I, I can't plant them down low or I'll do them in between the asparagus just to make use of it And I think what I might actually do is move my strawberries outside because I think that last year My strawberries were a different type of strawberry And they went wild and I just don't think they're doing very well in here So I'm gonna open up the greenhouse get some ventilation in here do some watering and do a whole load of planting out as well because it is about time to get everything that is left over out these are my corns and i guess what i could do is just kind of border this little raised bed here and then perhaps i could fit in some strawberries down here maybe they'll do better out here because i just don't think they're doing maybe i'm not watering them enough or perhaps they're not getting um enough sunlight i'm not sure but uh, i think i'm going to try them outside for now over here is the new pumpkin patch. Uh, we have some gourds here, um, lots of different types. We've got baby boo, we've got some other ones. I've kind of forgotten now what I've uh, planted. So I'm just gonna get those planted out here and hopefully they'll just kind of take over this area and not much else. So you might be able to hear the sound of my neighbour mowing his lawn. So I thought I'd give him the grace to sort of finish or at least go around the front of the house um, because there's no point in me trying to talk over it. And his lawn's looking very lovely, so that's all that matters. But um, I've just planted out my corn as well. I left it a little bit too long in the greenhouse, so it's probably gonna take a while to um, strengthen as you can see, they're a little bit a little bit wonky over there. I don't know why I left them so long, but they're in now. So hopefully as they get more water and their roots establish themselves, they'll look a little bit better. Um, I'm thinking that here is gonna be a little bit too small for the strawberries. I'm not gonna put them in. I'm just gonna let this bed do its thing now. Uh, pumpkins and gourds are in there. I've had a big old tidy up, although it doesn't look like it. The floor always looks a mess when I have a big watering session. Um, I've watered everything in here and also had a good water of the strawberries. Ali has trained my vines. Look at this one. My white vine is um, almost at the top now, which is just so cool. And the one thing that I have been doing, which I kind of wish I'd done sooner, is I took a little makeup brush and I've been going, I don't know if I'm even doing this right, but I've been going to the flowers that are left. A lot of the flowers have gone sadly, but I've taken them and I've gone in the little um, pollen like that. And then I've been popping it on the end of these ones where you can see the fruit forming. So you can see, see that one I've probably been too late to do, um, but there's a couple of them like here uh, where they've got a little flower here. So I go in there with my makeup brush like this 
and then I just dab it on the end and hope that it will mean that we get some more fruit. Um, there's not a lot of flowers at the moment. I'm hoping that we're going to have a few more. It still smells incredible. This one, we've got a few coming through. Like that one seems to have um, been pollinated. And so does that little one back there. This one seems to have quite a few, so I didn't feel like it needed too much. I've done more on this because it's got so many, so many potential fruits. Oh, there's a big flower there for me to take some pollen from. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but I've tried to do it on my um, courgettes as well. So just helping them pollinate so that I get more fruits and vegetables. So this was something that my next door neighbor taught me um, and I completely forgot to do it. So I'm giving it a whirl now, just gently. You can feel the stickiness on them, little sticky ends. Um, just dabbing little bits on there, hoping that there's enough pollen. I just don't really know, to be honest, but we shall find out. But yes, I've tied it up in here and the cucumbers, I've also been doing it to my cucumbers as well, not just my courgettes, because these have lots of flowers on them. Uh, so I'm gonna try and come out here once a week and be a little bumblebee and um, pollinate these things myself. One of the things I have finally decided on to do in this area when we have the little rejig, redesign, not redesign, but just rejig out here, all of these edges here are going to be bordered with lavender, I have decided. Um, I thought about this a long time ago and I put it off and I said no and I wasn't going to do it and people put me off of it and actually this whole area I'm going to border the entire thing all the way to the outdoor kitchen which will be here this will all be bordered in lavender and I am so excited to finally do it because seeing it overhang the path there it just looks perfect. Good morning everyone oh my goodness Today the sun is shining again and I don't have any makeup on my face and I probably look a lot better than usual because last night I actually went to bed at my usual time of about 9.30. So it was a wonderful early rise today and um, I've kind of been pottering around the house just tidying things up because I have this really weird habit of like putting things down and then like picking something up and putting another thing down and then before I know it there's just stuff everywhere in my house. So I basically just picked everything up and brought it up to my dressing room so that I could sort it out there. This dress is being worn again because honestly, I can't believe how gorgeous this is. Not just the print, but the thickness of the fabric means that I am currently wearing my yellow um, Chalcedonia bikini bottoms and you can't see. To have a white dress that you can't see bright colors underneath is a dream, but it's this bit that I just love. Like that is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And it fits. One of the things that I find quite often um, with the shirred things on um, Amazon is that these shirred bodices don't fit, but this one fits an absolute dream. So I'm wearing this today. Um, I have this weird urge today. I really want to go to H Beauty in Milton Keynes and just sample loads of perfumes, but like perfumes from brands that I don't like necessarily have anything from. I'm in this weird phase at the moment where I'm just loving discovering different, more niche perfumes. So I don't know whether I'm gonna get a chance to go though, but I do want to, hopefully if my um, orange blossom water arrives today, hopefully I'll get to bake a cake. So I do need to go out somewhere, but for the most part, I know that usually it's nice to make yourself sound like you have lots to do, but I've actually caught up on my work really efficiently. I don't know how I've managed to do this because usually I'm chasing my tail. It's probably because, if you haven't realised, Carrie's currently away on holiday. So we kind of scheduled this time around anything that I had permitted in terms of work. And so it's actually been quite nice and relaxing for me as well. Oh, who's texting me? For the most part, this week is actually shaping up to be quite lovely. First and foremost, it is beautiful and sunny. Only until Friday by the looks of things. Um, but tomorrow I have a wonderful event in the Cotswolds, which um, I'm really looking forward to. I don't know whether it will be in this vlog, maybe it will be in this vlog, depends what I do today. Um, if it's not, I'm not going to tell you what it is, <laughs> you have to see it in my next vlog. Because I'm so ahead on videos at the moment as well, so I know I'm... Oh, you're back! Yeah, but, um... Huh? 
<laughs> Ali's going to see Stuart Hicks today, um, and he, it sounds like he's forgotten the trousers that he needed to take. So it, it's it's going to be a wonderful week. So we've got that planned as well. Fingers crossed. And there's a flower show as well, which I mentioned that I was invited to later on in the week. Um, so there's just I'm just hoping that the weather at the weekend randomly improves because I really don't want um, a weekend of rain again because that's what we had this week. But Fingers crossed, all of the positive vibes that there'll be a big gust of wind that pushes the, the rain clouds away. <laughs> I've just done my favorite part of my, my uh, beauty routine, uh, which is my Brazilian lime and fig leaf, Brazilian lime, fig leaves and tea body lotion from Beauty Pie. I've just popped that all over me. I've actually finished it, so I'm gonna start a new one. I've also popped my blow dry spray on. And I definitely think that the oiling my hair is working because these bits at the front have really, really struggled to recover. And ever since I've been oiling them, they have started growing really, really well. So um, it's just lovely when your beauty routine starts actually like working and you find a happy rhythm with everything. So first things first, I'm gonna get sorting out my dressing room. I'm gonna sort out my rail. I have this rail that sits outside of my dressing room because otherwise it would make it look messy. And basically what I do with that is I put lots of my new in stuff on it and if I haven't worn it in the first three weeks of buying it, I'll return it. And that's working really, really well with me so that I'm not hanging on to things that maybe don't get the wear. So um, I'm gonna go through that. If there's anything that I need, I need to send back, I'll package it down and it makes more space. But that rail's really good for like my new in stuff and it's working super, super well. Um, yesterday was a wonderful evening where we just lounged outside, had dinner, into the evening, which these summer days are... Oh, it's the summer solstice today as well! <gasps> it's the first actual day of summer. If you might, you might have noticed that in some of my videos, I was like, it's summertime! It's because Ali randomly said to me last month on a certain day, oh, it's the first day of summer! And I was like, oh, is it? And I didn't think to even check. I just took what he said as, as like gospel and um it was not a fact <laughs> i think he'd got like the 20th of may potentially mixed up with the 20 something of january it's 20 20 20 20th what's the date today yes the 21st <laughs> you got it mixed up so i apologize for getting that completely wrong a month in advance um but it is summertime officially british summertime so it's about to get very, very hot, but hopefully there will be zero moaning from me now that we have our aircon in our bedroom. So I can just retreat there. I remember I used to have to go and sit in the car. So first things first, I'm going to sort out my dressing room so that it's a clean sheet. And then hopefully I'm gonna get outside. I'm not gonna put anything on my skin um, in terms of like foundation. I'm just gonna give myself a more awake look, but without the foundation, because I can't be bothered to wear foundation in this. In this weather, it's too lovely. Anyway. One of the things that I'm doing is clearing out all of my loungewear as well and making sure that I've got lovely loungewear so that when I'm actually wearing it I feel nice and this Nantucket jumper I got this from Free People I am in love if you don't know I read a book about Nantucket and if there's one way to make me obsessed with a place it is for me to read a book about it I read 28 summers and even just thinking about it now I'm like oh my gosh so it's a dream to one day go to Nantucket, but for now I will settle for this beautiful jumper. I've also had, please excuse my hair, I'm about to do it. Um, I also had a few more jumpers arrive from Beaufort and Blake. I got the navy version of my white striped jumper. This beautiful v-neck that looks lovely, draped over the shoulders of a white dress, as well as worn as well. It's a perfect kind of over leggings if you want to look smart but uh, still be comfortable. And then I also got this knitted version. If you haven't guessed, I'm obsessed with navy and white stripes, um, but this one is just this beautiful knitted 
thing as well. So I just wanted some things that look nice, easy to throw on, but um, I'm having a clear out of all of my old stuff. So I've got this really lovely French Riviera jumper that I got from Nasty Gal ages ago. I love that. That's the kind of vibe that I'm going down along with like my Adenola Outdoors collection and things like that. So very happy with those. I'm just kind of hanging everything at the moment and then I will file them away in their places that they need to go. To be honest, I don't want to be doing this. I want to be outside. So I'm going to try and do my best. What I might do is film a reels of some affordable, like, country grandmother-esque <laughs> um, dresses that I found on Amazon. I might do that because, honestly, my, my Amazon dress collection at the moment is on point. I am so good at searching on there. It's my favourite thing. Anyway, I must crack on. Well, <laughs> I said I'd finished all my work for the day, but, or for the week, but I did just spend a good three hours filming four different TikTok videos. Um, my dressing room is now a mess. <laughs> um, sadly, it didn't last long, but that's what happens when I'm working. I just throw stuff everywhere. Um, but Ali is hopefully on his way back soon because he's bringing some of my ingredients to make my orange blossom cake. I have learnt today that this is a Lebanese orange blossom. It arrived today finally so I can make my cake. The secret that I understand is potentially adding some orange and also potentially some orange zest into the cake mixture. Um, so I'm going to give it a go, but apparently it also goes wonderfully in water. If you want like an orange blossom flavoured water um, or drink, you can add it to pancakes, madeleines. So actually, I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a, of a secret ingredient to uh, things that I make in the kitchen for the future. But I didn't know anything about this. I'm so glad that I just went on a random Google last night or the night before and discovered this. So... I'm gonna put it to the test though. Let's make some orange blossom water. I still have not arranged the flowers that our gardener um, pruned for me yesterday. So, I'm gonna try this out. Ooh, that's a pro. I haven't had one of those for a while. I see orange blossom water coming right up. Well, it's definitely interesting. Um, it's kind of like perfumey water. So, I think at the moment, I'm enjoying the smell of it more than I'm enjoying the taste of it. But it could be, because you know what I've realized? The Eden Rock fragrance that I'm wearing, I've just sprayed, is very, very similar. It's very, very orange blossomy. So that could be it. Hmm, lovely. <laughs> well, I have had a very wholesome afternoon as the sun is now setting. Um, I made my cake, it's currently in the oven. I'm not sure. I never know how these things are going to go, but I think that if it is a success, it just might be the most delicious cake I've ever made. Maybe it won't be like presentably beautiful, but it will taste nice <laughs> because I tasted the batter and oh my goodness, it tasted so good. So it's in the oven. The, the thing that's um, sort of hard for me is the egg whites and then folding the egg whites in and it was quite a watery cake. So I'm imagining it's going to be quite dense but I don't know. I tried this once before when we did a uh, lemon and elderflower cake and it didn't go well. We had to remake it, but it's all learning. And this is the thing I'm determined and I'll just keep trying um, until I get good at it, I guess. Um, I also went down to the kitchen garden and harvested some monge too uh, for lunch. So I'll have that tomorrow. And Oh, it's been a very, very lovely day. I feel like I've done so much and I haven't really spoken to you guys. I didn't want to film whilst I was baking because that's just another thing that I need to think about and it takes all of my brain. Like, baking is intense. <laughs> well, if you look at this side of the cake, it is perfect. But, sadly, the uh, foil moved off of the other side of the cake. So, it is a little bit well done on this side. However, I think it's doing okay at the moment. I'm hoping it's not going to um, collapse or anything like that, but if it turns out nice, but it's just a little bit 
overdone on the sides, I'm happy with that because quite honestly, this was the most difficult cake I've ever made. <laughs> and I'm hoping with an asymmetric dusting of icing sugar, we'll be able to hide this and just kind of show off the good side. Because if you look at it like that, it's a perfect blooming cake, okay? <laughs> well, they have it. A very rustic looking orange blossom cake. And you know what I think I've decided? I am going to focus on making my cakes taste good rather than them looking good. And if they end up looking good as well, it's just a bonus, I would say. <laughs> because I don't mind a rustic looking cake, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm all about the taste, but I so hope it still tastes as good as the batter did because, oh my goodness, it was so good. Just gonna let it cool down a little bit and then time for the taste test. Wow. Well, it looks extra juicy at the bottom still, but I am so impressed. Oh my goodness. Well, it's definitely the lightest cake I have ever made. Mmm. Oh my goodness, I am very proud of myself. Babe? Do you want some cake? Yeah. Mmm! <laughs> that is like the perfect, lightly flavoured, like Moorish sponge cake. The Lebanese people know exactly what they're doing when they make this. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so impressed <laughs> and considering I whipped the um, egg whites by hand and I now have a completely dead arm because obviously I've got my um, issues with my ulnar nerve but <sighs> mm. yeah. what do you think mm, you like it Ooh. I like a warm cake mm. <laughs> it's a nice light cake isn't it Lovely. You like it? Yeah. Very, very good. Yay! I like the texture. Yeah, it's got good texture. Mm, very nice. <gasps> it's going straight on the cake sand. And I love the fact that it doesn't look perfect. I love that it's like a rustic cake. It's not perfect. Well, what's it supposed to be like then? Well, it's just supposed to be like perfectly round. Like if you were buying it in like a cake shop, it'd be perfect. Really? But mine isn't, yeah. No, it doesn't matter. So I said, I'm focusing on the taste rather than the look. The sponginess is perfect. Oh, I actually, and I whipped it by hand. Mm. Yeah, hard work pays off, they say, Porcini. Hee hee, mummy's good at making cake. Good morning, everyone. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and it is going to be a truly wonderful day. Ali and I are up ready to drive to time. It's deep into the Cotswolds and we're spending the day there. We were supposed to stay overnight, but um, I basically decided against it. I could have stayed on my own, but I, I thought, you know what? I've been away so much recently, one day away. I think it's just better that I sacrifice it. Although as much as I've always wanted to stay at time in weather like this, honestly, it's gonna be the hardest thing to leave because it is the most wonderful place. I've never experienced it in sunshine or hot weather. And today we are heading for the launch of their vegetable patch collection. So you might know, but I have a lot of the Bertioli linen in my collection. I, I wear one of their silk robes all the time. And um, I'm a huge fan of time and I have been for years and years and years. So I'm incredibly honored to have been invited to this. I've never been invited to one of their events before. So um, to be able to go is a bit of a dream. And we've stayed with them obviously in the past when they've invited us to stay, but never for any of their launches or anything like that. So. I feel very, very lucky because there are so many people in this industry that they could pick and the fact that I got invited is, well, for me it means a lot, um, especially when it's brands that I'm incredibly passionate about. You'll know that I've spoken about it a lot recently on how I've changed things in terms of what I do and where I go and where my time is spent. And this is definitely one of those times when I feel like I'm spending my time exceptionally well. I'm also wearing my Erdem Fern print dress, which I think is probably um, very fitting. Please excuse 
the light aircraft going over. I swear it goes over at this time every day. And it's so blooming slow. He's so blooming slow and so blooming noisy as well. But um, as I said, I'm wearing my fan print Erdem dress. I have got so much wear out of this dress. It makes me very, very happy because I, every time I put it on, I put on dresses and I'm like, do you know what? This just feels like me. And I think that's what everyone strives for when they're putting things on. You just want to feel comfortable and like your clothing represents who you are. And this, I definitely feel this wild and wonderful print definitely um, represents that. And also it was going to time that inspired me to put all of the ferns around my house as well. So um, this dress is perfect basically. But we're going to be having lunch in their kitchen garden, I believe. So I think they're gonna be setting up a very, very beautiful uh, table. If what time you usually do is anything to go by, it is going to be a wonderful, wonderful day and I cannot wait to get there and experience it, so much so that we're going early because we want to have a look around the gardens and just explore in the sunshine. There's so much newness when every time that we go there. I think I mentioned in my last vlog when we went to stay at time for our anniversary. Um, when we first went, there was no ox barn. There was like, it, it had a completely different entrance and it really was a different space to what it is now. And it is so wonderful to see it um, grow into the business that it is now and to have so many in incredible offerings. Like everything they do is so tastefully done. It's always that border of like elegance and traditional but rustic as well. They just have that blend perfectly. And in fact, my dressing room glow up was also kind of inspired by their spa. Um, just the use of a one coat of green in their spa just really inspired me. And um, I just haven't looked back. It's my favorite room. I just sit up here all the time and it makes me very happy. Not to mention my little antique chandelier. But this is my dress for the day, basically. That's a long-winded way of saying this is my outfit. Um, I've added a big white bow to the dress just to change it up a little bit. Um, I'm wearing my Manolo Blahnik flats and um, I've got my little mini Kelly, my favorite bag. Oh, it's so cute. Um, and then I've got my Triumph sunglasses on my head because it is gonna be a scorcher. Sadly, I think the weather turns tomorrow, but um, I have set up my greenhouse because tomorrow I have um, Hello Petal and the Country Flower Company coming to my house. We're gonna do a bit of a summer install, nothing huge and elaborate, just some more pots. Um, one thing I want to do is have some lemon trees in my dressing room and I think that that's just going to brighten up this space so much and if they smell as good as my greenhouse then I am set to only win. I'm going to have to close that cupboard though because it is annoying me. But that is my outfit for the day and the plan for the day. Lots of loveliness happening this week and just enjoying the last of the sunshine because I really don't want it to rain tomorrow. I feel like it's a personal attack. <laughs> And in honor of the veg patch that we're gonna be having lunch in today, I have gone for the L'Artisan Parfumeur Le Potager collection. This is the Iris Degree fragrance. I've used the whole thing, so I think it's about time that I actually settle on the few that I'm actually gonna buy. This one I love, I think it settles so beautifully, but you still get that freshness and that sort of spike of um, the garden pea, which I just love. And there is one that I smelled this morning that actually smells like um, beetroot which is niche. I, I think I might have to try it out just to see how it settles, but sad to say that's over, but I think it's time I ordered my fragrance. I love this collection so much. It really is incredibly beautiful. Everything about it is incredibly beautiful and yeah, perfect opportunity to wear this. Well, Ali has just given me the wonderful news that time have put a room aside for us anyway. Um, so they've instructed us to bring our swimsuits and stuff to possibly change into to freshen up so that we can experience the pool. That's literally what I was just saying. I was so upset that I wasn't gonna to get to experience that. So I'm gonna pack a swimsuit, but there's only one swimsuit for this. It's very specific, but my Arabella London green swimsuit is the essential, I think, for time. Although I'm gonna take this one as well because it always looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, I can't decide on swimsuits. <laughs> No, I'm going to not take a swimsuit, I'm going to take bikinis. I do have this one as well, which is really lovely. I don't know if it fits me though. I'm going to try this on. This is from a brand called Rugella. And this swimsuit is so beautiful. Look at the detailing on that. 
I'm gonna try it on <laughs> just quickly. Okay, I tried it on, it's very lovely, but um, the leg holes, they're too high. I don't like them that high. So, it's that time. It might work as a bodysuit though. But I'm gonna take this stuff, I'm gonna pack my Carolina Herrera bag. I have just realised that a bunch of flowers have arrived. I thought that it was my um, Rowan and Wren delivery, but it's actually a bunch of flowers. So I'm going to open this up and see who they're from. If I got a secret admirer. <gasps> oh goodness me, look at these. Dear Lydia, I hope you're well. This is our new, new summer foliage bouquet that I thought I'd share. Unfortunately, my Instagram got hacked and I've lost all of my followers that you kindly brought me. This has left my business in an awful mess. I'd love to send you some bouquets again to help build it back up. Oh no! Honestly, I feel that's one thing that I feel really strongly about. I've had a few um, issues with my Instagram account over the years and I genuinely don't think I would have got the help had my account not been the size that it is. And I hear this all too often that there are so many smaller businesses that get hacked that just don't know that the settings are there to protect their businesses or whatever and um, end up losing what is essentially their livelihood. Well, I'll link Nicola's Instagram in the description box down below. If you were following number five blooms or if you really like beautiful flowers, then you will love Nicola's stuff. She's so incredibly creative. We used to um, create the loveliest wild and wonderful bouquets together and this one is no different so i'm gonna get this untied pop it in some water and um show you how beautiful it is i think it needs a little bit of tlc because it's a little bit dry i think what's not having breakfast yet portadini doesn't like early breakfast he likes brunch I think that these deserve a wonderful rustic pot like this. So usually with Nicholas flowers, you don't need to do too much to them to be perfectly honest, because she arranges them so lovely that you just plonk them in basically. Literally, et voila, my favorite type of flowers, just wild and wonderful. Oh my gosh, they actually look perfect. I love the twigs. Oh, so gorgeous. Porcini mushroom, parcolini dega. Right, my little scrabby muck. Nice and flummy. Say hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Who's me, the silent one? Barco one. Show some your cake. Uh, candy, but we're going to be eating lots of lovely cake today. Exactly, so we may as well just absolutely green light it. Okay. I'm so worried that I'm not going to be able to make another Why one. Why did you not use this? Because um, it said orange juice, but it was actually for, um, it was from the oranges, so you can drink that. Just don't drink it out of the I don't know what's going to have it. No, you're not. I'll have it. Don't drink it out oh, of the coffee. you kiss me? Ali. That's your, wanna... your old argument. Yeah, but it's not nice if somebody else would like some. Okay. Come That's on, you finish your food. Good boy. Wild and wonderful. This is those beautiful little leaves again that look almost like oak leaves. Sorry, you can hear Barkley with a treat. I just love the way she does things because she always uses the um, kind of foliage that nobody else uses and she always has done like even just sticking things like rosemary in there, it just always looks so lovely. She's very, very good. So I'll link this particular arrangement in the description box down below. I love it when it's more green than anything else. Little flecks of white in there, so lovely. Well, seeing as the dogs are having a treat, so are we. Ali has suggested that we have some more of my cake, which I'm slightly worried that I'm never gonna be able to recreate this cake. But no, 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 big luck, big luck. Mm. That is good. I do like it warm. Good. 
Pink's always better warm, but sadly you can't always get it warm. You've got a pinch of butter, Jake. We need to get some proper cake uh, forks. I love a cake fork. I've ordered myself a little lovely cake server as so well. I just ordered us some new cutlery. Some nice rustic cutlery. Mm. That was nice. You mean have a nice day? Mmm. Got to. Oh, um, Sunday tomorrow. My goodness me, it is warm in here. It is my turn to drive today. So, Ali's just run to get me my wedding rings because I forgot those. Remembered my watch but forgot my wedding rings. You always forget your wedding rings. No, I don't. Very convenient when she's going out on the night out with Carrie. Oh, yeah. Likes to make sure that nobody knows that she's married. Oh, yeah, I like to flirt. But then when they realise the big dog's involved, they all get scared and run away. <laughs> the big dog. Me being the big dog, by the way. Yes, not 40. When you're as tall as me, everybody's very fearful. <laughs> Mon Dieu, it is hot. Right. Let's see if this aircon works this time. Is the air recirculation on? Why is it put that on? Cooler. Cooler. We're having a nightmare with our air conditioning. To be fair, it's the only thing that I've ever had a problem with in our car. But at the moment, it just it keeps putting on the air circulation internally. Internally. So we are just coming down the single track road to time. And Ali and I have traveled this road many times before, but this is the first time, well, it's the first time I'm experiencing time in the sunshine, like in proper summertime. Have you? No, we always go in the winter. Yeah, we've always been in the winter. Last time we went was December for our anniversary. And I feel very, very lucky to be back and enjoying it in the sunshine. Also, we just drove past a road called Hen and Chick Lane. Oh, and nice. I just think that is the cutest thing I have it ever It's very sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, almost there. This is my favourite little bridge here. Yes. It is the most, like, look at this entranceway. Oh. You're going all the way around the back now, aren't yes, we? Yes, yeah. So this was the old entrance that we used to come into. And fun fact, as we always tell you, oh, shish kebab. You're going to have to pull in there. Uh, the church in there is where Kate Moss got married. We have arrived. Yes, we have. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Beautiful fields. I love the estate fencing. I know. It's like they're getting ready to plant up these little base areas here, but we have arrived and it is looking so lovely. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I've come to the most dangerous place in the world for me. This is the shop at Time. Oh my goodness, look at this. I think that's definitely gonna have to come home with us. We have all of these little, I think they're called her herborian, or herbarian. Anyway, some of those are coming home with us. And there's always little trinkets. <gasps> so this is the new veg patch collection. Oh, wow. I just love the illustrations and they're all designed by Karen who's the owner of Time. We've got more of these here. I'm definitely doing some shopping. <gasps> Look at the napkins and potentially some cushions for my dressing room. Yeah. The veg patch. This is it babe. Let's go, let's get down there. Oh look at this. As you can see here, this is exactly what I want to do with our gravel path because I just think it looks so effective and we can use terracotta pots to break things up. Oh, I love it. I'm always so inspired when I come here and I feel like this is all I say whenever I come here, but it looks fantastic. Yay. I feel incredibly lucky to be meeting this little lady. This is Lettuce and she is a Canonchen Dachshund, so she's smaller than usual Dachshunds and she, I feel like I'm her biggest fan. I followed her on Instagram for such a long time, all of her little escapades and she is such a queen. You are so adorable. So we have arrived to the kitchen garden here at Time. This is the kitchen garden that inspired my very own one with all of this lettuce and tomatoes. And here we have 
the veg patch collection which just looks incredible so they've got individual little napkins of their own and then they're all picked out on the tablecloth as well and we have a very very beautiful Karen illustrated little menu there as well looking out over the water meadows gosh it's been a long time since I've come here and it just looks even more beautiful and established than when I was here before the things I was saying earlier on in the year was that I really wanted to set up a table uh, down at my veg beds and this is the perfect inspiration and style as well it looks absolutely beautiful we've just been told we're able to take some of these home with us as well we've got bags to take some produce from the kitchen garden here and it all looks incredible So this is my favourite plant of them all. I've read about this in a lot of books. This is meadow sweet and it smells as sweet as its name. It is absolutely beautiful. It almost looks like a miniature hydrangea. It's so pretty. So this wasn't this wasn't here. This is new, correct? Yeah, this pool is a 1930s pool. Oh, it was here. Um, but we planted the hedging around it. Lovely. <gasps> is this new then? Because this we put in about three years ago. Right. Um, and I'm not. I'm going to put a bar in because actually when I'm doing this stuff for, for me now. Yeah. Um, of course. Yeah. And have a little. And then we've got the avenue down there. <gasps> Um, oh going my on to goodness. The meadows across the river, which is so nice. Do you come and sit and drink your coffee and just think, oh my goodness, this is so nice. It never gets old, these kinds of things, does it? It's so beautiful. I'm like, I go into autopilot when I see something beautiful. <laughs> goodness me. <gasps> Where, what's your favourite spot to have coffee in the morning? Well, just to sit out here yeah. is wonderful yeah, yeah. because it's actually the so, morning sun. Yes. It's so did, literally just been finished. What, what facing is this? South. Oh god. Oh my goodness! We have just finished up the lunch and we have been very, very lucky to have been taken to Karen's home. We've had, lunch, uh, had a cup of coffee on her terrace and she's just had this place installed because they had a wonderful wedding on the lawn and I just feel like I'm home. It just feels like the loveliest setting and I've hopefully got a few little clips of her telling us about all of the wonderful flowers that they grow here. But this is a south-facing terrace where they get the most beautiful evening light. It almost gives me kind of a bit, a bit of Tuscan, Tuscan vibes on this side, but you get the very, very typical English manor house there. But she is the epitome of English country grandmother in her green and her tortoiseshell sunglasses and white linen. She is an absolute dream. So now we are heading over to probably enjoy the pool and finish up the day, but I've had the most wonderful day. Little happy chick chicks. So this is what I've been incredibly excited about. So very, very soon. Bertioli will be launching their upholstery and fabrics that you can have in your home and I am desperate for some blinds and for some cushions, some sofas, some headboards. I would love an oak leaf headboard for one of the bedrooms and I think that's what I'm going to have to do because this is just perfect. Ali has fallen in love with lettuce as much as everyone else. <gasps> Little yeah, tiny. Oh my God, my so this is our little make, not makeshift, but we aren't staying the night, but they've kindly given us a room for the afternoon so that we can go down to the pool and sit in the sunshine. And I've never ever seen these rooms before. I did not know they even existed. This is dandelion and it's kind of almost off of the um, garden. I love that they've hung all of my things in here as well. Um, but it's got, I think this must be like setting plaster from Farrow and Ball. It's this almost um, plaster-like colour. And then they've put this gorgeous pop of yellow. And then these ferns. I need to get some tables like this. I love them. Is that a real fern? That is a f real fern or a fake fern? That's well, good, but we can't tell. No, it's a real fern, but it feels fake. Wow. 
I was going to say I'd be shocked if it was fake. But we've got all of the Bertioli beautiful little bits and bobs in here as well. I am very, very hot and sweaty. It has been an exceptionally hot day, but we're going to get changed into something more comfortable and hopefully head down to the pool. The struggle to see me, but I am changed. We're going to head for a quick dip at the pool and um, enjoy the beautiful new orchid room, which I haven't seen, but it's just launched. So I'm going to go and explore that and get in the water because it has been so, so hot today. Oh my goodness. And I'm so grateful to have this room so that we can change in here and get refreshed. I'm just having the loveliest, loveliest day. I feel like this is my spirit home. <laughs> This was the first house that we ever stayed in when we came to time. And not much has changed. Still got the wonderful cookery school in here. And then this is the path that leads down to the spa and the pool. We have come to the pool. I'll give you a quick little tour around, but we're at the Magnolia Room. Um, they have the most beautiful like mint green chairs here and it's just the most beautiful pool ever it is so so lovely beautiful sun loungers and the pool is i love this shade of green it's like a darker shade so it almost looks black on camera but it's not um it's got a real dark teal color to it which always looks a little bit more luxurious and then these espalier trees i believe they look lovely and it's such a lovely temperature it's been nicely warmed up but we're going to be actually coming back here for dinner and drinks very very shortly so we're going to get uh, into the pool and then get back to the room and get changed because luckily I was clever enough to bring a change so I'm going to be able to get dressed and feel fresh again because I felt pretty gross after lunch because I was sweating the whole time. First of all I'm going to pop myself in the pool. Always good to check, do a quick bum check before getting in the pool and I mean the wipe not me looking. Ever so elegant. A true frog at heart. Are you doing like a David Attenborough in its natural habitat? No. Nah. <laughs> it's the in its natural habitat. I think more like a lizard. <laughs> it's not a mint manta, is it? I know what you mean, like. <laughs> I don't know. Come out bloating. <laughs> <laughs> right, I am changed and into one of my shirt dresses from the shirt company. And I've also got my LK Bennett shoes on, but I can't show you those. We are going to head over to the pool area now for a sundowner and then lovely dinner at the Ox Barn. So this is the beautiful new space here at Time. It's just next to the pool and it is incredibly beautiful. To be able to see this over the sunset just like that is absolutely gorgeous. You can see the little dovecot house over there with all of the doves. Husband looking very dapper. I'm feeling incredibly lucky to be experiencing these gardens at this time of day. And in this sunshine, it looks so lovely. I just have to film my food because otherwise I've not filmed anything from the night because I always have so much fun and I forget to film so as long as I filmed my food I've not done nothing. <laughs> well we are saying goodbye to a very lovely sky that you sadly cannot see because <laughs> this camera lightens everything up but it is the most beautiful blue and pink sky as it sets over time. We've had a lovely evening and I'll tell you more about it when we get home. <laughs>